hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to delete the data from database using rest api with postman okay so guys in previous video where we have learned to update the data and now in this video we will be doing about deleting the data from your database inserted okay so guys let's get started with it so first step we will create a route in it so as simple as you can see this already is present over here so we are going to copy the same thing and uh, modify the thing so let's create one delete thing and we are passing the data add any this is for accepting anything alphabet or number so according to that you can delete it so inside the api folder we have an employee controller with the method called update employee so we will change to delete d e l e t e delete employee and this delete employee will ask for the parameters whatever we send so this any data you are sending right so that will take to your function called delete so let's copy this and move to our controller api controller so let's just scroll back and let's create a controller over here i mean function so let's type public function where your employee delete inside this we are passing an id so id means this data which you are passing right so this only we will capture over here with the name of dollar id and with this help dollar id we will take the take the data and delete it so let's call our employee model so let us create an employee model where new key of employee model m o d e l and this employee model is coming from the start so i'll just show you where it is okay here is your construct inside this i have called the employee model so this employee model i am calling add for this delete employee and with the help of this employee object i am calling this the delete underscore employee function where i will send the id whatever i am getting over here so let's copy this and send it and then guys we will give a result for this is equal to and with the help of this we will check the output of it so before checking output what we have to do let's create a function inside your employee model so before this please add over here d e l e t e delete so this is the main concept for calling this api okay using this postman so if you want to use the api thing you have to add this thing okay so until unless you add this it doesn't delete your data using api so guys let's copy this and create a function inside your employee model so let's go to employee model at below we'll create a function let's create public function where employee id and over here and now guys we will write a code where directly we will return dollar this of where we will call database connection with your delete function okay so inside this this delete function is a your prebuilt uh, query builder class where we will use that only which is given by the coordinator so guys let's call our database value so where is it okay so let me just refresh okay it's here so let's copy this employee table and paste over here and then in this we have to call your id okay so let's assign with that dollar id where arrow of your dollar id so let's take this dollar id dollar id we have to take and paste it so once it's done the time you will send return this so let's return this to your employee controller and where you will use it so guys it will return this and then to check the result you can copy from the above for the result option so let's copy that and paste it so let's paste it over here and here the result which you are going to check it's over here so if it is greater than 1 i mean greater than the 0 the result will respond to true and employee you can tell deleted okay d e l e t e d 
employee deleted or fail to delete employee that's it and let's save this and now let's test with it so guys let's go to our routes and call our route controller i mean route which is for the api route and now let's call this into a postman so let's get back and let's change this route from forward slash api delete and you want to delete the first id so let me just click on this id number one and let's remove all this we don't require right now anything and let's get back just you can go to your starting okay as usual your admin password authorization should be accessible and now let's change this method to delete okay so if you are using this delete make sure you have added in your controller at the function where this is the delete option so this delete function we have to add okay so make sure you are adding this delete underscore underscore delete so until and unless you call underscore delete till that time this doesn't work it will show an unknown method so guys now let's set this and check into our database so before sending this request i want to show you that db so you can see that id number one is present right now fund our test let's delete this so let me just send request and the status will be shown over here still sending request and cool so you get the status true and where employee deleted now let's check this id number one into your database let's get back and let's browse over here so you can see that id number one is not available over here because it's got deleted through the api so guys finally we have completed the crud application for rest api with the authorization and the api key whatever we have sent okay so guys um that's all in this series and let's get started with new series about much more in coding nighter so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share